Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial series, I'll be covering how to use Google Calendar API in Python. All right, so in this video, we'll do the following things. I'll go over the general Google Calendar API information. We'll learn how to enable Google Calendar service, and we'll learn how to create Google Calendar API service instance, so we can connect to different Google Calendar services. Now let's cover the general Google Calendar API information. So here I'm on the Google Calendar API uh, main page. And here are some of the use cases that you can check out. And right now the Calendar API is on version three and it hasn't been updated for a while. So the last time this API was updated was back in November 19, 2018. Under the guides page, we can see that the Google Calendar API supports uh, many different languages, such as Python, Ruby, PHP, .NET, Go, and some other uh, languages. And I'll be using OAuth 2.0 to authenticate users' account. Now let's take a look at different types of scopes. So if you go to our guides page, under authorized requests, and if we scroll down, and here's a list of scopes that we can use. I'll be using the calendar scope throughout this tutorial series, since the calendar scope gives me both read and write access. Now let's go to the API usage. So every day you can make 1 million API codes per day, and I think that's more than enough for uh, personal use. If you are a company or if you have uh, any website service that you may potentially exceed the limit, then you can contact Google Cloud Service to increase the limit. Now let's go to the API reference page. So the Google Calendar API has uh, this many resources. Unfortunately, I won't be covering all of them. I'll cover the resources that I think are generally uh, useful to uh, users. And that means I'll be covering calendar lists, calendars, channels, colors, events, and settings. And depending on the use cases, uh, most likely I'm going to skip free BC and ACL uh, resources. Right, so that's everything I want to cover in terms of uh, general information. Now let's go to our Google Cloud Console uh, page. So if you type console.cloud.google.com, I'm going to log in with my account. And once you log in, pick a project that you want to use. I'm going to pick my Google Cloud demo project. Now click on navigation menu. Under the APIs and services, you want to click on library. Now search for calendar. Now click on Google Calendar API. And make sure that Google Calendar API service is enabled. And once you've done that, we can go to our Python editor and start uh, write our first Python script. To start, I'm going to import the pbprint function from pbprint library. I found my Google module. I'm going to import the create service function. And this Google module is a module that I wrote. You can access the source code from the link in the description below. Now I'm going to create four variables to store the required information to create the uh, Google Calendar API service instance. We need to provide the client secret file. And let me grab the uh, file name. And we need to provide the API name. And it's going to be calendar. The version ID, which is going to be V3 for the scope. I'm going to create a list. I'm going to name this list scopes. And let me go to the uh, authorizing requests page. And I'm going to just copy uh, this scope value. And I'm going to just ins uh, insert to my scopes list. All right, so this is everything we need to create a Google Calendar API service instance. So here I'm going to name my uh, object service. I'm going to insert my 
create service function. We need to provide the client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes. And let me delete my token file. The token file basically store your uh, login information. If the token file is available, then the script is going to check uh, the login information and it's going to basically skip the authentication step since you already uh, authenticate uh, previously. But I'm going to uh, start the process from scratch. So I'm going to delete my token file. Now if I press F5 to run the script, A page is show pop up on your browser and it's going to ask you which account do you want to use for the authentication protocol. I'm going to choose my uh, dummy account, which is the last one. And when you see this page, that just means that uh, your app is not verified by Google and that's okay. Just click on events and click on this link to proceed. The reason why you need to verify your app is because uh, when you want to make your app available to public, Google just want to make sure that there are no harmful uh, links in your website or in your app. Now you're going to click on allow to uh, give the access to uh, to the app. As well as you're going to see the authentication flow has complete. It should let me make the font bigger. You may close this window. And that just means that the authentication process is uh, complete. And if you go to your working directory, you should see a token file got generated. Oh, and I forgot one thing. So if I print all the attributes and methods of the service object, and let's take a look at the attributes and methods. From the output, you should see all the resources at the end. So here's the ACL resource, calendar list, calendars, channels, color, and all the way to settings. So this is everything I want to cover in this video. For the next video, I'll be showing you how to create a new calendar using Google Calendar API in Python.